Coming up next, I'm going to tell you my top 10 compliment getting fragrances of all time. Welcome back everybody to Joel the Nose. And I just did a video basically talking about flankers and my favorite flankers. And there's a twist to that video and there's a twist to this video too. I'm on Key Biscayne. This is an island just off the coast of downtown Miami. Beautiful, beautiful area. That's looking back to downtown Miami. Actually not downtown, that's Coconut Grove. Downtown is over that way. That is the mainland and that's Coconut Grove neighborhood. So hopefully the sound of the water here is not uh, drowning out my voice or the wind. It's a beautiful breezy day here in Miami. All right, I'm gonna get right into this. Top 10 compliment getting fragrances. And I have to say that no, this is not clickbait, but I'm not giving you my list. Much like I did on the flanker video, whether you've watched it or not, um, this is something that Again, I personally feel that compliment getting videos are useless. I think that most reviewers do them because, and I'm not going to say anything wrong about reviewers who do a lot of compliment uh, videos, but because they do well. If you check the analytics, you see people watch a lot of those videos. So I'm not going to criticize any reviewer who does them, but for me, I don't think you'll ever really see going forward one of those type of videos for me. I can't even remember the last time I did one. You'd have to go back and look over the last year and a half. I'm sure I've done one before, but I don't even remember. I don't like these videos. I did do a video recently talking about how you can get more compliments, but it was really not about getting compliments. It was about teaching people to spray more fragrance because most people under spray. And if you want to enjoy your fragrance more for yourself personally, and if, you know, to have people notice it, you gotta spray more. But this is about compliment getting fragrances. And this is my thoughts, guys. Fragrance for me is an art form that's for me. I wear fragrance because I love fragrance. I wear fragrance because some fragrances give me confidence. Some give me energy. Some lift my mood. Some make me more serious. Some are good for the office. Some are good for working out. Some are good for dates, first impressions. But these are things that they, how they make me feel. And yes, of course, I wanna smell good, right? Especially for, let's say my girlfriend, or if you're married, your wife, or husband, boyfriend, whatever it may be. Of course you wanna smell good, right, for other people. I'm not saying that there's not a reason for that, but complimenting getting fragrances at their core, those videos I think are flawed because each fragrance smells differently on each person. I mean, I wear fragrances that on me, I think smell great, and then I'll have someone else try, and they're like, ah, it doesn't project, it doesn't, no one can smell it, I don't like this smell, because we each have our own, obviously, preferences. And we also have our own unique body chemistry, skin type, oil type, oily skin, dry skin, what you eat. We each have our own unique odor print. Just like we have our own fingerprint, we have our own unique odor print, which comes from our immune system. So it causes us to produce different body smells and react differently. So to say, for me to put out a list of top 10 complimenting getting fragrances is completely useless for you, the subscriber and the viewer of this video. It means nothing because it smells good on me. There's literally no correlation or evidence or anything that it will smell good for you, okay? What's more important is what are your compliment getting fragrances. I wanna hear those because that's what works for you. You know your body, you know your smell, you know your fragrances, they work for you. So for me to say, hey, this is, you know, got me 10 compliments today or, you know, they, okay, yes, I, the video maybe has meaning from the standpoint of saying, hey, this is what works for me. Okay, but please, please, when you watch those videos, take them with a grain of salt and do not go out and buy them because you think they're gonna get you compliments. In the end, again, I think fragrance is worn 
for yourself, for your own pleasure, for your own enjoyment. And if someone else likes it, that's a side benefit, right? That's just like a kind of extra thing to throw in there. But to choose your fragrances based on hoping that someone else is going to say something to you, I, I don't know. I, I think there's just something wrong with that. I, I think there's a fundamental flaw in looking to fragrance to try to get acceptance or, or compliments. I, I, again, that's just me personally. And I think there's just, as I already stated, many reasons wrong with compliment getting fragrance videos. That's why you won't see me do them. Again, I understand why everyone does it though, and I'm not criticizing anyone who does them. Everyone's got their own, their own vibe, their own things they like to do. So more power to the people who do it. I'm just saying, when you watch those videos, take them with a grain of salt. They're probably not gonna be compliment getters for you. They just aren't. Okay, it doesn't mean that they can't be. Okay, you gotta try it on first. You gotta wear something. You gotta know your own, again, your own body, your own chemistry, your own odor. You gotta know all that stuff, okay? And make a educated decision on what works for you. So, uh, I guess on that note, hope you guys didn't find this too controversial, because I don't think it is. But I thank you guys wholeheartedly for watching. I hope you enjoy some of these kind of vlogging type videos I do around Miami to try to bring you the real beauty here and just, you know, make these videos different from, you know, sitting on a couch or a table and, and you know, in a room somewhere. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, I'll be back soon with another video, guys. Peace and love.